Greetings, everyone. Welcome to ENE &E Learning Hub. I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question four from the 2022 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass people. So let's begin. It says there are two basic types of alarm systems the series connected system and the parallel connected system. Part one of A it says state two reasons for installing a burglar alarm system in a residence. So the two reasons are, one, the burglar alarm system can be used as a deterrent to intruders. So when someone is thinking about entering a house to steal something, if the person sees that there's a alarm system in place, then that person will not want to enter that house anymore. All right, so hence why the burglar alarm system is used as a deterrent to intruders. Two, the burglar alarm system can be used as a form of protection. If an intruder tries to enter a house, the alarm will go off, scaring off the intruder and notifying the persons of the house and the police as well. All right, so those are two reasons for installing a burglar alarm system in a residence. All right, so that's it for part one of A. Part two of A now, it says, state the type of call point in bracket push button, such as that, each of the basic types of alarm system utilize. So for the series connected system, it uses what is called a read switch. For the parallel connected system, it uses a manual push button call point or a brick glass call point. All right, so those are the types of switches that are utilized for both the series connected system and the parallel connected system. All right, so that's it for part two. For part three, it says, explain why a burglar alarm system is usually fitted with a latching facility. All right, so this is done because once a burglar alarm goes off, you don't want it to stop after a few seconds. So that could be seen as a false alarm so the latching facility is fitted to the alarm system to allow the alarm to continuously give off a sound until it is reset all right so that's why the latching facility is there all right so that's it for part three so let's move on to part four now it says state one advantage and one disadvantage of each of the two basic types of alarm system identified in part two of A. All right, so for the series connected alarm system, advantage, a series connected alarm system provides a higher level of security because if an intruder tries to bypass the system, the alarm will go off. For the disadvantage, this system is more complex and time consuming to install. All right, so that's it for the series connected alarm system. For the parallel connected alarm system, the advantage, the parallel connected alarm system is generally easier to install and maintain than a series connected system. However, for the disadvantage of the parallel connected alarm system is that it is less secure than a series connected system because an intruder may be able to bypass the system without the alarm going off. All right, so part five, it says sketch and label a basic circuit wiring diagram for each types of alarm system identified in point of A. All right, so for the series connected alarm system, so here is a diagram. So if you look at it closely, you will see that the switches here, they're connected in series. So if one of these switches were to be open, then 
the relay right here, this open contact here will become closed and the alarm will go off. All right, so that's it for the series connected. For the parallel connected, you can see that the switches are connected in parallel and the switches are open. But if one of the switches were to close, the open contact here would close, which will result in the alarm going off. All right, so that's it for part five. So let's move on to part B now. It says, state two ways in which the wiring of a burglar alarm system differs from that of a fire alarm system. One, the burglar alarm is wired in such a way that the read switches are connected in series, whereas for the fire alarm system, the call point switches are connected in parallel. Two, the burglar alarm system is wired in such a way that the alarm goes off when the alarm circuit is open, whereas for the fire alarm, it goes off when the alarm circuit is closed. All right, so those are two ways in which the wiring of the burglar alarm and the fire alarm differ from each other. All right, so that's it for this question.